So if you want an easier way to calculate grades over here, then you can use something called VLOOKUP. So over here, you can see that I got my marks lay laid out on the left, uh, left column and I need to display my grades here. Yes, I can use nested if, but that takes a lot of time. So I'm going to use something called VLOOKUP. So over here, I ha have the marks over here onto the left section and over here onto the right, I got the grades. So if you get 80 and above, it's A, 70 and above is B, 60 and above is C, 50 and above D, 40 and above E, and 0 and above is F. So I'm going to type in the formula now. So I'm going to press equals V lookup. As you can see, you can select it here, V lookup. So I'm going to take this as a reference right here. So this is going to be my reference, comma, and then I'm going to choose the table array right here because this is where I want the data from. And then I want the uh, column index number. That is, it'll get the data from the right uh, column right here. In the left column, it'll find the marks. So I'm going to uh, press comma right here and press two, just like this. So what it does is that it'll compare uh, the data from the left column right here with this data right here, as you can see, is from B B3. It'll compare the data from Z3 right here. And then it'll get uh, the value from H8 and displayed accordingly right here. So because I'm actually getting the data from the second column right here. So once I uh, do this, I also want to add in a dollar sign over here so that whenever I copy the formula, um, this area does not change. Otherwise, when I drag it down, this uh, reference point is going to change. So I'm going to press enter and you can see that since the marks is 80, it actually shows 8. So if I were to drag this down just like this, you can see that uh, 46 is E because it is above 40 and below uh, below 50 right here. But this has to be in ascending order just like this. And the uh, marks should be on the left side uh, and the value that you want to display should be on the right side. So this is how you can use VLOOKUP quite easily. You can also something uh, called HLOOKUP right here. So I'm going to uh, paste a special uh, special uh, va value right here because I want to convert this so you can that, that, uh, see that I can transport this and if you want to uh, take this as a reference then instead of VLOOKUP you can use something called HLOOKUP. So if you were to press equals to HLOOKUP right here it works exactly like VLOOKUP but for horizontal data. V stands for vertical and S for horizontal. But usually it is easier to work with the vertical uh, alignment of data anyways. So that is how you can use VLOOKUP uh, to come up with average data inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.